Question number 19 is to solve equations with specific variables. Now you can see in this question there are two unknown variables. Okay. See Q and R. And what do they want you to solve? You, you can't solve for any which you want. You need to solve for this indicated variable or the specified one. That is solve for R. Now in case you do this as Q equals to all the other things, it will be wrong. It must be for R itself. So what you do is group the R's together. What I mean by that is now Q, take R to the other side. It will be R plus R. Q is equal to R plus R is 2R. You want R to be alone. So take it, divide both the sides by 2. You will get Q by 2 equals R. That is R equals Q by 2. This is your answer. Now, If you want more detail, what you can do is you can write over here subtracting both the sides uh, adding adding r to both sides both sides of equal to that's understood so basically what happens over here is q minus r plus r this cancels and over here you will have then doing what just adding you know uh, addition property addition addition property so over here dividing both the sides by 2, dividing both sides by both uh, sides by 2, that's it. And then simplifying and getting the answer. Uh, sorry, this is rearranging, okay. No need of writing everything, but some of these steps like dividing both the sides. Really what happens here, it's 2 by r by 2, divide both the sides by 2, this cancels, you're remaining with this. That's how you do it. It's a very simple topic. The answer is Q by 2R. And here the same thing. Please do it by yourselves. Now see here. Don't go to solve for T. You have to solve for M. That means M must be kept alone. Now look at which is the higher variable. Bigger variable. It's 4M. So leave it over there. Take the smaller co... Uh, sorry, it's not variable. I'm telling the coefficient. 4 is a bigger coefficient for the variable m. Here it's only 1. So what you do is take this to the other side. It will be 4m minus m equals minus t goes to the other side. It's plus t. And here 4 minus m will be 3m equals t. m equals t by 3. This is your answer. You can tell otherwise you can also do it like this. See? 4m minus t equals m. This is given, right? Subtract m both the sides. It will be 4m minus t minus m equals m minus m. Over here, m minus m will be 0 and 4m minus m will be 3m minus t. Now, add t both the sides. That is 3m minus t. Sorry, minus is first minus t plus t equals plus t because 0 plus t sorry 0 plus t is t this cancels you are getting 3m equals positive t now take the uh, divide both the sides by 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 this cancels m equals t by 3 this is the all detailed steps now this is understood most of the steps are understood so we just directly solve it you can save steps but since if imagine this is coming for maybe eight marks then do it in detail each and every step but if it's just for like say five marks this is more than enough and personally if i was correcting the paper and if the student has done this i can understand he has understood the concept is understood so there's no need of elaborating unnecessary stuff you know so this is fine you should get the full marks for this as well okay the answer is correct now, all the answers are there in the solutions over here in this presentation. So, please make sure you go through them and solve it by yourselves. Look which variable they are asking for and solve only for that variable. It's very easy. You can pause and check the answers. The best way is solve these by yourselves and then check for the answers. Okay. I'll just do this one over here because there are three variables here. The given question is over here. You need to solve for dub V, sorry. So take everything else to the other side. We have to keep V alone. I will have U minus Z equals V W. 
Now take w to the other side, it will be u minus z divided by w equals v. This is the answer, but if you want to simplify further, it will be u by w minus z by w. But this is more preferred answer, that's it. Okay, see this one is the most, say only two steps I have. So now it depends on the correct R as well. So it's better you, uh, you know, I personally don't mind if you have written so much because you understood the problem. This is correct, absolutely correct. Only two steps. But sometimes some characters might feel that's very less to give so many marks. So you need to, you know, show a bit of steps. You can do that, okay? Just add some couple of steps and just fill it up. And same way, please do solve. Over here, the detailed steps are there all the problems so please look into the question which variable you need to solve and that's the variable if you have solved for h then it's wrong because they have specified for g same way over here there are very easy problems and la last but one there's only here uh, we will just do this one because it looks a little bit uh, bigger what you need to solve is for t so let's take r minus v equals 2 by thirds t now whenever you have fraction you have to multiply the reciprocal of the fraction that is you're multiplying over here see i'm doing on the same step you must do it down new new steps okay here it is 3 by 2 and over here also multiply 3 by 2 if i'm multiplying same thing on both the sides it's balanced now here this 2, 2 cancels, 3, 3 cancels, you will have 3 by 2 R minus V equals T. So this might be the answer or let's see how it's written. Yeah, that's the answer. So this is a very easy, isn't it? So please do solve the other problems and then solve it by yourself and then check for the answers. Don't just jump to the answers. And over here, this is the answer over here. Now, this is also easy. You just have to do for A. So what you need to do over here is first take the 11 to the other side. It will be 10 AC minus X equals minus 33 because minus 3 times 11 is minus 33. Take X to the other side. See, over here it will be minus 33 plus X. Now, if you're thinking why I don't take 10, see, whenever you have such terms, the outermost term, the 11 is the outermost term. So 11 goes to the other side first. Now what next over here? The outermost term is minus x because this is all together. Uh, it's joined together. Now when you see over here, this numerators are together, denominator is separate, goes to the other side. Here, this term, this term, this term goes to the other side. Now then, all our multiplication, you can just divide. So it will be division by 10c. 10c. So the answer will be a equals because 10 and c cancels. It will be minus 33 plus x divided by 10c. So this must be the answer and that's the answer. Yes. Please do the last one as well by yourself and then check for the answers just like what we have done a while ago. That's it. So please do each step in detail. You can skip some steps if you know it's fine. But don't just make it a very small direct answer. Try to write some steps at least. And don't just, you know, even if you can directly tell the answer, you know, write at least a few steps. May not be so many, but at least about five lines or four lines.